Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. Today I'm making a burning bin. I finally got some time in the shed, which is fantastic, and I've been tidying a bit, but I've got too much stuff, so I need a burning bin. I need to set it up in the garden once it's made and get rid of some, you know, uh, sawdust and, you know, timber offcuts, that sort of thing. Um, I've too much for the house and I just want to get rid of it now. Okay, so here we go. So I've got quite a bit of hedging around my side, a couple of hundred meters of it, and it's too high. It's up 12 feet, something like that, you know, maybe four meters. And I need to chop it down to about here, you know, maybe a yard high, that sort of thing. So when I have it chopped, I need to, to dispose of it, and I don't want to compost it. Okay, so I've got a big bag of shop waste also. That needs to go. So I'm going to make a, a very simple burning barrel. Now I'm going to cut the top off it and do it slightly different. I, I wanted one of those barrels that you could clip open. I couldn't get one. So I'm going to make a modification to the barrel I have and I'll show you how I do that now. Here we go. So I tried to get a barrel with a clip on it and that would have been perfect for what I wanted to do but I couldn't find one or at least I couldn't find one in time. So what I've done is I've put a black mark at two and a half inches down from the top all the way around here and I'm going to hit it with the angle grinder and take it off. So safety first, I have the lid open on this barrel. I know there was only oil in it. It's empty of oil, there's no fumes in it. So I'm safe enough to do this. Be careful with the barrels, you don't know what was in them necessarily, you know. Okay, so here we go, round the line. Now that's the lid off it. I have a plan as to why I did it this way. And I'll show you that in a second. Now, because I couldn't find a barrel with a clip on top, I'm going to cut a two inch strip off the top of this barrel. You know, so I'm going to end up with a ring, you know, two inches wide. And that's easy enough. I'm just going to mark two inches all the way around, chop it with the grinder, and I'll show you why. <laughs> now to do this, I've got a piece of cardboard with a hole in it. You know, I put the marker in the hole and just go around, and it'll give me a two inch ring. Yeah, be careful you don't slice your finger up. There you go, my marker ran out of steam towards the end, but um, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but I can see it. So I'm gonna cut that ring off now. So now what I have is my oil drum, a ring, and a lid. Now the idea of the ring is simple enough. What I want to do is I want to use the ring as a locator. You know, like a pipe in a pipe. So the ring is going to um, attach to the top of it, but inside like this, and so that when I put it down, it's going to sit inside here, making me an airtight, or a nice, if not airtight, a nice tight fit on the lid. And then I've got something else planned. Let's get to it. The plan now is to attack this every three or four inches, something like that, you know, so it's nice and tight and doesn't want to fall off. So these are really simple to make. I just want to make a garden incinerator, um, you know, a burn barrel, whatever you want to call it. So I cut the top off this two inches, two and a half inches off the top of the barrel with the lid still connected. I cut a hole in it and then I, I cut a piece of plate, a three millimeter plate, and I stuck that on. And it was just, you know, with some tech screws and it is just to make it a bit stronger. This literally just goes over the, the strip that I cut out, I have that tacked in position and it's just a joiner if you like, you know, it's a locator for the top of this. It'll also help with the ceiling. And this just goes on here. And that's it on. So, can't fall off sideways anyway, you'd have to turn it upside down to get it off. Now, these flues, the hole I cut in, I cut it in for this piece of flue. This is five inch flue. Okay, so the, the, the flue isn't perfectly circular and uh, I just have to spring it in to get it in. So that's it sit, sitting nice and tight. This is another piece of flue I was just gonna use as an air intake. 
Now, I cut a hole in the bottom of the, st of the stove, I was going to say, in the bottom of the barrel for this. And this is the air intake. So literally, just pushes in there. Okay, now these aren't perfectly round because I've been using these in other projects. Here we go, bouncy castle fan. Sit it on a concrete block, just for height. And literally, it just goes in there. And that's it assembled, you know, so it goes together very quickly and it breaks down very quickly, no problem. So I can run this barrel burner with or without the lid. I'm gonna put the lid on it today. I'm just gonna dump this cache of offcuts and stuff. This is just plywood offcuts, but it's really wet. You know, it's been out in the rain and uh, you know. Anyway, I'm just gonna throw the whole lot in there, set this thing on fire, put the lid on it, and we'll see where it goes from there. Okay. Uh, there's nails and paper and stuff like that in here and sawdust. So. Okay. Throw the whole lot in. Okay, and I've got some cardboard here. Throw this in as well. Okay, so I'm back with another couple of fire lighters. All right, these are just infused with, I don't know, paraffin or something. But anyway, I'm gonna drop them in this time rather than just throw them in. It's quite windy here now at the moment, probably 20 miles an hour. And I'll just place that in here, somewhere strategic if I can. And we'll give the other one a go. All right, let's put the lid on and see what happens. Now we can see it's smoking, it's just burning itself and it's burning, um, you know, sawdust and stuff. Let's put the lid on. Okay, that's the lid on and you can see smoke. Which is no surprise, but it's going the right direction. It's going up the flue, which is good. So, <laughs> let's try this now. Probably blow it out. <laughs> I'd say I'm after blowing it out. Okay, so there you go. There's a lot going on at the moment. It's absolutely roasting the paint off the outside of the barrel. Um, so obviously a roaring success. Uh, there might be much left in <laughs> this little fan. I'd have to do a job sealing this thing around the bottom. If you can see the flames coming out, it's like a bleeding rocket. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> now I have the air choked down as well. I just put a glove on the air intake. So let's give it full bore. Whoa, it's blown the lid off. <laughs> That's some force. Okay, it's cocked the lid up. It's tipped the lid off it. It's, the actual pressure of the thing is blowing it all off. Some heat out of it now. No, not really. It's still up around 500 degrees. Okay, so it's more or less blown its own lid off. There is some smoke coming out of the top, but it's mostly coming out of the back. What I'll try and do is take the whole lid off and we'll see what's going on. Now, somebody's definitely going to ask, what happens if you put waste oil in this? Well, I have a bit here. Let's have a look. Now, you can see it's smoking at the moment. I'm going to put some more waste oil in there and then I'm going to put the fan on and you'll see the difference. So I don't know if you can see into the container there. It's, um, I don't know, maybe a litre of waste oil. Just a normal engine oil. Okay, you can hear it's a bit like a deep fat fryer. Now you can see, even on a litre of oil, there's quite an amount of smoke out of it. Still have a little bit of oil left in this thing. Okay, so I'm out of the equation at the moment. Let's put the fan on and see what happens. All right, you can see the smoke. And you can see the vortices happening there, just spinning that flame. And look, no smoke. And you can see the flame spinning nicely. Hopefully you can hear me over this. I leave this on until the, you know, the smoke goes away so I'm not producing any smoke. 
But look, you can see straight through, it's he just heat haze now, no smoke at all. Well, now and again, it, it, you might see a little bit, but a tiny amount of it. And, uh, you know, that's without the lid on it. Okay, so I have to do this with the fan off because it's making too much noise. It's great having a bit of crack with just, <laughs> I'm like a kid with a stick and a wheel. <laughs> but look, if you enjoyed the video, please thumbs up, subscribe down here. If you're already a subscriber, thanks very much. It's great having you around. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Good luck.